Hey guys. <laughs> so, the first thing I wanted to show you clearly is my newly and finished rhinestone Jojo Sea Washer. Look at that. And I've got the neon here and the star outline there. Oh my goodness. It makes me so happy inside. Just to seeing how it glitters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> okay. So now that I got that fun part out of the way, that I'm just so proud of this. I knew it was going to feel a little weird though because it's really stiff because of the glue. I haven't washed it yet, so hopefully that doesn't affect it. It shouldn't, but it might. I don't know. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about something else that is kind of a new installment. I guess that's a term I can use. So I started seeing a nutritionist on Friday and it was a telephone call and everything because COVID and um, this is something I've, that I've had planned for a few months. It took me a while to get an appointment or I had to like plan way ahead and this was the appointment that was open and she's super nice and be really helpful. I really like the doctor herself but so I deal with acid reflux and a few other things so it's just kind of been a process and of course the first thing you got to do with a nutritionist in that situation is start to cut out foods and see if it affects anything. So first let me put this out here. I have never in my life ever wanted to be that person that has to read labels on the back of food. I hate diets. Like for me personally, for some people it works. That's wonderful. Not for me. It does like my I guess I never fully tried. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> but this is like it's just one of those things so because I have anxiety, it stresses me the F out. Like it stresses me out so much if I have to start checking ingredients start doing all this other stuff to make sure that I'm eating only specific things. I hate it. <laughs> and I'm probably going to have to have some intense session sessions with my therapist about <laughs> this. I really am going to try my hardest to do it. Um, the diet that I'm going to be going on is called a low fruct, it's called fructin diet or a uh, FODMAP diet. Now, no one's gonna know what that is because I didn't either. <laughs> Basically, I have to cut out, first and foremost, wheat, garlic, and onions and anything related to it. That's like at the top of the list. So basically, wheat out. And there's an entire list. I've been taking notes trying to get it in my brain of things that I can't eat or that has a medium amount and I can eat a little bit of. And there's a list that I can eat. And that's not as long <laughs> as far as things. Now, the other struggle with this for me is that I hate cooking. <laughs> I know, it's terrible, right? I really, I really should get on top of that. But again, with my anxiety, that stresses me out cooking stresses me out because there's all these ingredients in this huge list of things. Potentially this also could relate to my potential dyslexia because I have to read like ingredient lists and instructions like 20 times before I'm like okay that's what it means. Like and most of the time it's because I get really OCD and like anxious. I'm like, I need to make sure I read every single word and it's tablespoon, not teaspoon, tablespoon, not teaspoon. And it's like, it's, it's insane what my brain does with that kind of things. So that's why I don't like cooking because it's just like, I don't even know why. There's just so many elements that I'm like, I want to do it right. I want to do it perfect. I want it to taste good. I don't want to miss anything. And it makes my brain explode. Think. God, Mike likes cooking. 
thank God. I'm trying to like, I want to work on adjusting that and trying to become like much more at ease with that because it's something I would like to be able to do in the future, especially if we one day have kids. I want to be able to cook too. So it's not that I can't, it's just it overwhelms me. Anyway, so the problem with this kind of diet is that now there's all these specialty recipes with all these like millions of tiny little ingredients that I've never heard of, don't even know where to like start and I'm just, it, it makes me want to lose my mind. So I, have to, I had to dial it back I'm like first we're going to take what everything we ate before and see if we can find a replacement. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's where I'm starting because literally I am not kidding you every single thing I eat or that we've been eating has wheat in it <laughs> or something I'm not supposed to eat like we do a lot of okay so we're not healthy but we like we do a lot of ravioli we get this um honey chicken I can't really have honey anymore um yeah there's like it's such a weird list I don't understand any connections. It's very hard to remember everything. But yeah, we would do honey chicken. We do like hoagies, uh, which we call hoagies, but it's like we take hoagie bread. Basically, it's similar to making um, Philly cheesesteak almost. Like we have like this meat and red peppers and cheese and it's delicious with like honey mustard. Um, bread is now changing for me too. I can't eat wheat, so I have to go to the gluten-free side of things, um, which is so hard for me to find and so expensive. <laughs> I was like, I kind of knew it was going to be, but I'm like, like a tiny loaf of bread, no joke, it's like this big. Seven dollars because it's gluten-free. Seven dollars when like I don't know a regular thing of bread would go from like three to five dollars. I think I don't even remember um, But it's just oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's me going crazy <laughs> yeah. So I'm like half considering going to my nutritionist to be like um I want to take care of my body, but uh, I don't think I can afford this <laughs> Like I really honestly don't think I could keep that up for a long period of time and I realize this clip is becoming longer and I apologize for that. <laughs> but I just needed to get this out of my system. And so today was my first grocery shopping day where Mike and I had to, you know, change everything. And I had this huge list of things that I could eat and I put some things on the back to remind me to look for certain things and labels that I can't eat. And so it was just kind of like, oh my god, like what usually is like done in like an hour was like, I swear to god, two hours. It was two hours, it was so stressful, and there was a lot of people, it just happened to be busy too, and I felt like I was getting in everyone's way while I was sitting there like reading the labels. I'm like, ugh, ugh, ugh. and um, you know, I never really wanted to be that person. Maybe I'm just a lazy food eater or something, um, but like I never wanted to be that person that has to look for gluten free stuff like I did it or like have to look at the ingredients I just never wanted to be that person and there's honestly nothing wrong with that truly but it's me that it bothers because it really messes with my anxiety because it freaks me out I'm like am I am I not am I am I not ah! and by am I am I not I'm like am I allowed to eat it am I not <laughs> anyways so yeah that was fun I changed my coffee, which I now put in this because this keeps things hot. My success with Jess mug. Um, I changed it to almond milk because I'm not really supposed to have excess dairy, even though I'm not lactose or anything. It's just like part of it. So I need to try to hold, cut back on dairy as well. So yeah, it's been fun. <laughs> I love it. No, I'm <laughs> Anyways, we'll see how it goes. We tried ordering. I got gluten free pizza the other day. Uh, from like our place that we order pizza from and it re I personally thought it was really good Mike was kind of like yeah <laughs> but you know I'm the one who really has to eat it so but it's unfortunate though because I discovered uh, that as someone who has to do gluten-free uh, my pizza place that we go to or actually all pizza places because we looked at a bunch of them they only offer one size, like medium, gluten-free, and it's like $4 more. It's super thin, it's super small, and it's $4 more. 
I'm like, are you kidding? Like, I know it's hard and I'm, and I understand that, but, and I'm sorry, but it's like, it's, I have to eat it that I have to eat it that way and technically I need to be careful with tomato sauce too like I have to be really careful with that so life's gone <laughs> um, on a happier note even though I doubt anyone stayed this long for this video but I got some really fun masks oh, Jojo masks they're like almost too like they're almost small for me but I have a tiny face See, this kind of matches. It has the it has the heart and star on it. I want to rhinestone these. I think it's safe to do that because once it's dry, I wouldn't be breathing in glue or anything. But like, and then then I have oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh, I have this one. Oh my god, it's so cute. This one came with a tiny little clip bow too. I found it. Let me show you. So I'm gonna just do it together because why not? Plus that little bang's falling down anyway, so here's the tiny little matching bow. These, yes, by the way, these are obviously JoJo, well this one specifically is obvious, but JoJo certified bows from Claire's, so I'm like, or not bows, JoJo certified masks. And there's my little matching bow, how cute. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go now, this became way longer, and I apologize for that, but if you stayed, Thank you, because that is a long video to stay through. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, and I'll keep you updated on how this whole thing goes. Boy.